Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with slow braised lamb shanks. Lamb shanks are like the easiest thing to cook ever because basically they make themselves delicious. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take six lamb shanks. We're gonna coat it with olive oil, some salt, pepper, rosemary, and thyme. And then we're gonna give those a good toss. And of course, in real life, I would use my hands. But I have to operate a camera, so I use the tongs. So toss them up really good. Throw that in a really hot oven, 450 degrees for 30 minutes. We want to get a nice brown on those. In the meantime, take a saucepan with a couple tablespoons of butter. Get it nice and hot. We'll use like medium to medium high heat. And then saute your mirepoix, celery, carrots, onions, in the butter for about 10 minutes. I want it to be pretty well browned and caramelized. That's going to give this sauce a really nice color. Okay, so once the vegetables are softened and the edges are starting to caramelize and brown, we're going to dump in a rounded tablespoon of flour, give that a stir, cook that for about a minute. We're going to throw in our garlic. All right, after the garlic is cooked for about a minute, we're going to throw in our red wine, something good, something drinkable. We'll stir that in, it's going to thicken up, and we'll add the rest of our liquid, which is some chicken stock, some balsamic vinegar, and the secret ingredient, cinnamon. Don't leave it out. You'll wreck the entire recipe. It's just a little bit, trust me. So go to Food Wishes, get all the ingredient amounts. We're gonna throw in a splash of water, and that's ready to go. Okay, we're gonna take out our lamb shanks that have been browned in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes. We're gonna pour over our braising liquid and kind of nestle it down, you know, so it's evenly distributed. Then we're gonna cover this with foil. To make it easier to move around, I'm putting this on a sheet pan. I'm gonna cover it with foil, kinda of tight. I'm gonna crimp the edges, but we want a little bit of the moisture to evaporate while it braises. There's gonna be plenty of liquid in there, so don't worry. All right, so lower your oven down to 325. We're gonna put that in for one hour. After an hour at 325, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna turn those, we're gonna flip them all over, rewrap it, back in one more hour, and they will be succulent and fork tender, but check. You should be able to go in with a fork fairly easily, yet the meat is still not completely falling off the bone. We want the, the meat to stay attached, but we want it to be really soft and tender. All right, set that aside, put it in a bowl, loosely wrap it with foil, and that's gonna rest for 10 minutes, which coincidentally is the amount of time we're gonna boil this stock. So we're gonna transfer our cooking liquid, that beautiful braising liquid, that's got a good amount of fat on it though, we're going to transfer that to our saucepan. On high heat, we're going to reduce that for 10 minutes. Of course, you know the trick we do every time with this kind of thing. While it's boiling, all the fat collects in the center. Use a ladle to skim off all the fat. So the fat skimmed off. It's reduced for about 10 minutes. It's thickened up nicely. We're going to throw in a little bit of fresh rosemary. Restraint is key, as it is with most things. Just about a teaspoon. That's gonna give the sauce a nice, fresh, herbaceous quality that really brings everything together. Taste the sauce for salt and pepper, and you're ready to serve. Put those in a serving dish, ladle over the braising liquid. Perfect for cool weather dining. But you know what? I've made this in the middle of summer, just as good. I hope you give that a try. All the ingredients are on the site, as usual. And as always, enjoy.